Well, it now looks like the controversial lawyer who volunteered to go to bat for a cop killer is about to get a top spot with the Department of Justice, heading up the Civil Rights Division. It was more than three decades ago when Philadelphia officer Daniel Faulkner was shot five times by Mumia Abu-Jabal. One of those shots was in the face as Abu-Jamal was standing over the dying officer who was just trying to do his job. Abu-Jamal never denied it, but he appealed the verdict and then his death sentence based on a technicality with the jury. And a lawyer by the name of Debu Adigbale played a big role in helping get that killer off of death row. Now Adigbale is up for a huge job at the DOJ, and it is a position that thousands of police officers around the country do not want him to have. Despite all of that, today his nomination was approved for a vote on the Senate floor. And you know what the Democrats did with the nuclear option? Basically, they now control whether this guy will be confirmed or not. But it's not going to happen before Mr. Faulkner's widow weighs in. That woman is Maureen Faulkner, and she joins me now. Maureen, good to see you again. And so now that they've changed the rules, uh, this nomination can be approved by 51 votes instead of 60, as it sort of had been in a way. And uh, that means since the Democrats control the Senate, he, this, likely will, this man likely will go to head up the Department of Justice's Civil Rights Division. And you have written a passionate letter uh, talking about how you find this revolting. Explain. I do. Uh, I am going to do everything I can to not allow this man to become into the Department of Justice Civil Rights. Um, if people go on to Justice for Daniel Faulkner website, please, I beg you to go on and look at the YouTube. And when he was the director of litigation, the people that were under him, that he directed, watch what they do. Not only did they defend Mumia Bultramal, but they tout him, they praise him, they, they talk about what a wonderful man he is. It's an absolute disgrace. I will be in Washington, and I will be in that Senate committee when this vote goes through uh, I again. Know, I know you're planning on going, and I know you're going to have the support of at least six major law enforcement, office, office, uh, enforcement agencies that say that they, too, have been totally ignored by the administration on why they do not want this man heading up uh, this top spot at the DOJ. You are not alone, Maureen. Thank you. I, I know I'm not alone, and it, it's just it's had me so upset over the past couple of days. I just found out about the uh, Judiciary Committee meeting the day before it happened. I would have been on a plane. I would have been in Washington. I would have been in that room. And I yet couldn't you, get a flight out. You know that they say, look, he's just a lawyer defending his clients. Lots of lawyers defend bad clients, and they shouldn't be held to, to account for that. I believe that the people do in the country should have defense and they should ha have able to have de people defend them but in a situation like this this man chose to particularly pick out this case and him and his attorneys um, not only defended this case but they touted this murderer on what a wonderful person he is and how um, the, some of his underlings not he personally yes yeah, and and they they talk about it and, and Megan, they talk about it being, uh, if you look at the tape, uh, one of the women talk about it, I believe Judith Ritter talks about how it was yeah. a race issue. It was not a race issue. Maureen, I'm, I'm coming up against a hard break, otherwise I'd keep you over. Thank you so much for being here. We'll continue Thank to you. follow it. And we'll be right Thank back. Thank you.